everyone, so today's video is going to be a special video for Disability Pride Month. Now, I'm pre-filming this in June, so I don't actually know when in Disability Pride Month this is going to be uploaded, whether this is like one of the first videos or one of the last videos, but yeah. Also, I just want to say, like I've been saying in a lot of my videos recently, I have been struggling to find time to film, and... Yeah, this is again one of those cases I'm gonna have to film this as fast as I can, which I'm quite sad about because I have quite a lot of things to say. But yeah, I also just want to say as I'm filming this, there is a heat wave happening. That's why I'm wearing short sleeves. I usually don't wear short sleeves because I'm really insecure about my arms. But yeah, it's way too warm right now to wear anything but short sleeves and I'm already starting to become like really warm just from wearing this and like having my hair down but I'm refusing to wear my hair up as well as, you know, wear something with short sleeves so yeah, I'm just gonna have to suffer through this video so I hope you guys like appreciate the outfit because I tried my best to still look okay even though I feel very insecure. But yeah, let's just get into the video which is a video all about what it's like using a walking stick or a cane in public as a young person because obviously a lot of the times when you see someone use a walking stick or a cane in public oftentimes they'll be quite old and yeah I just thought I would make this video to like tell people what it's like I guess for a young person to use a cane in public and not just for like a short amount of time for like your leg being broken or something but for a longer amount of time so yeah I just wanted to make this video because I thought it was an interesting subject and I'm also going to show all of my canes like every single one that I've ever owned which you can probably already see them in the background because I just can't shove them far enough up my bed because they'll still be visible because they're so long so yeah you're already getting a spoiler for what my canes look like as you can tell most of them are quite dark but yeah let me just get into the video so first of all i guess i should say why i use a cane and i can't give you like any diagnoses one because i'm largely undiagnosed at this point and two because i'm really uncomfortable with that so yeah the reason why I use a cane is because I have mobility issues. I really struggle to walk because it causes me a lot of pain in my joints. And my joints can dislocate quite often, which obviously when I say that, I feel like some people might already know what my diagnosis would probably be if I was diagnosed at this point, but I'm not because doctors refuse to take me serious because I am so young. But yeah, this is not a video about me and my problematic relationship with doctors. That could be a whole other video, honestly. But yeah, so the reason that I use a cane to walk is because it's just easier that way. It causes me a lot less pain to use a walking stick. At this point, a walking stick is one of the only mobility aids that I own and that I use. Uh, the other one is like my glasses, which yes, glasses are in fact a mobility aid, in case you didn't know that yet. But yeah, at this point, I only own walking sticks. I also would like to own like other mobility aids, but at this point, that's just not a thing that I can do. One, because they're very expensive, and two, because they wouldn't really work considering where I live. I live on a like second floor apartment with only stairs, and if I got like a wheelchair or something, like how am I gonna get that down? You know, like it would help me not walk everywhere and be in less pain but i would have to drag it down the stairs so i feel like it's a bit you know it's a bit weird so at this point i can't really get like any other mobility aids for those reasons that i just mentioned but yeah i'm gonna start with like actually showing you the canes now which a lot of them actually look quite similar but yeah so i got my first mobility aid when i was about 20 years old which is when my Mobility issues really started getting worse. I always had mobility issues and I always was in pain when I was walking or sitting or standing or doing anything. But when I was like around 20 years old, it started getting a lot worse. And that is when I got my first cane, which is this one. I hope it's in frame. But yeah, it's this one. It's just like a regular cane. It like folds up. I can't show you how to do it because I'm not strong enough anymore to do that, which is why I don't buy like fold up canes anymore but yeah I hope it's visible like you can fold this one up and you can like adjust it to your height 
and it doesn't have like a strap to like hold it to your hand which is actually why i bought my second cane but i'm gonna show that one in a minute i'm first gonna talk about this cane just a bit longer but yeah like i said i got this when i was around 20 years old i remember exactly when i bought it and where i bought it and i also remember not using it for like two months after i bought it because when i showed my dad that i bought it to like help me walk because at this point i was really struggling to like get anywhere and I would always like get stuck places for like hours on end where I would just have to like sit down and that was really embarrassing for me and really like scary as well because I felt very vulnerable so I thought I would get a cane and my dad was very against it like when he saw it he got very mad and told me that I wasn't like an old person I was young and I should just walk everywhere without it and yeah like I said I didn't use it for like two months after I bought it and then my mom visited because my mom lives in another country and when she visited I brought it with me like folded up and then I got in a lot of pain while we were walking somewhere and I told my mom that I had brought a cane because I've been having this issue for quite a while and she was like oh just use it then and so I just took it out and you know unfolded it and used it and it was fine like it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be, especially me being a young person. I think it helped a lot that my mom was with me and every time that like someone looked at me weird, my mom would just like glare at them and make them stop. So yeah, my first outing with a cane wasn't that bad actually. I actually stuck like a sticker to it to like remind me how to hold it because you have to apparently hold it with this facing forward, which I always thought it was this facing forward but apparently it's this so yeah i stuck like a sticker to it so i knew which way i had to hold it obviously at this point i know but yeah this was my first cane there's nothing really special about it it's very like damaged at the top because um i kept dropping it because there's nothing to like hold the cane to my wrist which is actually why i bought my second cane which is the cane that i've had for the longest amount of time and that is this one now as you can probably already tell this one is quite damaged there is like duct tape on it because my physical therapist dropped it on the floor while trying to give it to me and broke the handle and so it's very sharp here even with the duct tape it's very sharp so i can't use it anymore sadly enough which actually made me very upset because this is the one that I've had for the longest amount of time. I think I used it for like almost two years. So yeah, I kind of got attached to this cane, which yeah, like I said, I bought this solely because it has like a strap to like hold it to my wrist. So if I like let go of it accidentally, then it doesn't like drop to the floor and break, which obviously didn't prevent my physical therapist from dropping it on the floor because obviously he wasn't like holding it onto his wrist. He was just like holding it like this. And just dropped it it also happened right before like a very important like appointment like a doctor's appointment and i always use like these canes for doctor's appointments and not one of my prettier ones which i'll show those in a minute but yeah i always use these ones because they just seem more like i'm a sick person who would like your help and i'm not some teenager who you shouldn't take serious which I always find that very confusing because I'm not even a teenager and they still call me that. I guess I just look young for my age. I don't know if that's good or bad in this situation. But yeah, I actually have quite a lot of memories attached to this cane. Not all of them are good ones. Like I feel like a lot of people act like they would be very nice to disabled people but then they actually see a disabled person in real life and they act absolutely horrible to them. So yeah, a lot of my memories with this cane aren't very good ones. Like people have literally stolen it out of my hand before and have asked me like, can you walk without it? Like, let's see it. And it was not fun. People have also tried kicking it and have succeeded in kicking it because obviously I'm not fast enough to move my cane away because again i'm disabled and i have mobility issues my reflexes aren't that fast but yeah people have tried like kicking it like i already said and you know take it away from me sometimes question why i use it question whether or not it's like my grandmother's key and i'm just holding it people have told me off for using it and told me that i should stop using it because i'm mocking old people when i use it and literal like old people have told me this before 
like in the middle of like a bus and I'm just like can you not see me like clearly leaning on it like I need it and I kind of also need a seat but nobody's offering me one because I'm too young so yeah like I said not a lot of like good memories are attached to this cane but obviously it did like help me in those situations like it's kind of like there with me in those bad situations and obviously I do want to say like it doesn't happen like every single day that someone like kicks my cane out of my hand or well not out of my hand because this one has this so it doesn't really fall to the floor it just kind of like falls out of my hand and just hovers in the air for a bit but yeah it doesn't like happen every single day that someone kicks it it especially usually happens around like halloween because people seem to think that if you have a mobility aid in your hand and you're young around halloween not even on halloween just around it like people just think it's a costume and try to steal it from you and like kick it like i already said which is very annoying because I try to avoid going outside around Halloween because this stuff happens. But no matter how many days I wait until after Halloween to go outside, people will still make comments saying like, Halloween is over, you know? And I'm just like, yeah, I know. It's like November 10. Like, I know Halloween is over. That's why I waited like 10 days to go outside but like i need this to walk so yeah people are just like annoying sometimes but yeah i need to stop talking about this because again i need to film this quite fast and i'm rambling and i still need to show like three other canes so yeah this is like the cane that i was like the most attached to now i just feel kind of like sad when i look at it because i can't use it anymore but i did buy another cane to replace this one because i do need a like neutral black colored cane for like physical therapy so that if another cane gets dropped and broken it's not one of my pretty canes which i'll show those in a minute i know i keep talking about them but i need to show the black ones first so that you guys know like the progression of my black canes i guess so yeah so this is the black cane that i use now as you can tell the handle is a little bit differently and that's because I literally couldn't find a black cane with a handle like the other ones that had this kind of strap to it in like a short amount of time because I needed one very fast because obviously I have physical therapy twice a week and I need a cane like this for it. So yeah, I don't really like this one. It's very like unsteady, which I don't know if you can hear it, but like that doesn't sound very steady, but it still takes my weight, which is good i hope it doesn't like collapse underneath me at some point but obviously again just like the other two this one you can fold up it does fold up a lot less good than the other two because again the quality isn't that good but yeah this also like i said has this like strap to it the handle is less good as the other two yeah i don't really have much else to say about it because i'm not that attached to this one this is just like for physical therapy at this point I only use like my pretty canes which I'll show now when I go outside that is not for something like a doctor's appointment or physical therapy. I use the pretty ones which again I'll show now. Then we finally get into my pretty canes which like I said I mainly use these ones for when I don't go to doctor's appointments or physical therapy because I feel like if I use them for physical therapy like my physical therapist will break them again. And I feel like if I use them for doctor's appointments, doctors will take me less serious because they are so like pretty looking and they almost look like an accessory, which I really like that about them. But I feel like for doctor's appointments, that's not going to help my case. So yeah, I only use them when I go outside just to like go shopping with my dad or something. So yeah, the first one of my pretty canes is this one. This one is like purple as you can tell hopefully it does have like a very nice shine to it in the sunlight even though there isn't a lot of sunlight i feel like hopefully you can still kind of see it it also has you know like a strap to it this time not just like a plain black one but like a matching one with the cane i got both of them from neowalk which i'll show the other one in a minute after i stop talking about this one but yeah neowalk is basically like a company that makes walking sticks and like these like bracelets or things that you like you know do around your wrist so you can hold on to it and you don't like 
drop it when you accidentally let go of it but yeah both of these sticks were actually gifted to me by someone which i'm very grateful for because they're really pretty and i really love them obviously but yeah i got this one because a disability activist can i call him that i have no idea but i'll put like her app name here and maybe i'll link it down below as well but yeah she basically made like a tweet on my birthday which is also like a disability day i forgot what it is called but it's like day of disabled persons or something like that but yeah it's like a disability day and she tweeted about it i think i can't remember exactly what it said but i responded with something showing like a picture of my old cane the cane that was broken by my physical therapist before it broke and i talked in that reply how i wanted a pretty cane like this from neowalk and I wanted to buy it for my birthday for myself, but my dad was refusing to let me buy it. Because again, my dad doesn't really like the fact that I need a walking stick. I think at this point, he is realizing that I do need one. Because he sees me like struggling to walk. Especially in the last couple weeks, as like I have been in like a flare-up of my pain. So... Yeah, he has gotten better about it. But back then in that reply, I mentioned that like my dad wouldn't allow me to buy one with my own money because he didn't want me to have one. And I then went to physical therapy because I had physical therapy on my birthday, of course. And basically as I was at physical therapy, I saw that she had replied to it and basically was like, can we get this person that came for her birthday? And so, yeah, long story short, I ended up actually getting a cane and getting it as like a gift from someone i don't know who because it was like an anonymous donation that someone sent to lucy who's the one who made the tweet originally and she basically like helped me get this cane and i'm very grateful for that because i really love it and yeah i'm now gonna talk about what it's like using it in public because i feel like i've talked about this game for long enough and at this point it's hurting to hold it up so yeah, I'm gonna talk about what it's like using it in public now. So using this one in public actually made me very nervous because all the other canes obviously that I just showed are very dark colors, they're all black. And I feel like a lot of people don't really see them as a cane. I feel like people see them and then kind of like look away because they think it's like an umbrella at first sight, I think. Because it's so like, you know, it's, it's such like a dark color that like most people don't really focus their attention on it for very long and it's only when like I stand still for a very long amount of time that people do recognize that it's a cane because like I said when people have like kicked my cane or told me off for using it I usually was standing still and you could see what I was holding and I feel like with this I don't need to stand still in order for people to see it it's not an umbrella because it doesn't look like one and yeah so I was very nervous to use this and see what people's reactions were and most of their reactions are pretty much the same of me using these ones which hopefully maybe you can see them but the other black canes are here but yeah most of their reactions are the same they now do like not even double takes they do like triple takes because with these ones they do double takes with this one they do a triple take i feel like they look at me once because they see like a person and then they look at me twice because they see me a person holding something that's very bright and like shines very brightly in the sun and then they do a triple take because they notice that it's a cane and they're like oh my god that person's using a cane and they look young how is that possible i didn't know that young disabled people existed which if you didn't know that young disabled people existed, where have you been your entire life? But yeah, anyway, most people's reactions haven't really changed that much from me using the other canes. People also haven't given me like compliments on it, which I find very strange considering how pretty it is. But I think that has to do with the fact that like it's still like a mobility aid and people are less likely to compliment something like a mobility aid, even though it is very pretty, obviously. Which, if anyone tells me in the comments that this cane is not pretty, first of all, you're lying. Second of all, don't say that. It's very pretty and I love it a lot. I haven't given it a name though, because I know a lot of disabled people give names to their mobility aids. But yeah, I feel like I'm not really that good with names. I feel like I would name this one after the, like, main character of the book that I'm writing, who also will eventually use a walking stick. So... I would name this one like Lavender probably, which I feel like that's a bit on the nose considering 
the color, but still, that's the only name I can really come up with. I haven't come up with a name for the other cane that I own, like the other pretty one, which I'll show now actually, but I'll just give you guys another moment to like appreciate the beauty that is this cane. So yeah, look at it. Look how pretty it is. Wow. So pretty. Yeah, I'm going to show the other cane now and then I can finally stop this video because again, I need to film this fast and I also don't feel well. So yeah. So I moved my black canes to on my bed because I realized that you couldn't actually see them. And also I kept like tripping over them whenever I went to check the footage and see if it was good or not. So yeah, they're now on my bed. I'm sorry if you can see the bottom of them. I hope you don't. But yeah, the bottom is like what touches the floor obviously. So a lot of them are like dirty. So yeah, I'm sorry if you can see that. I hope you can't. But yeah, here are the black ones, obviously, all three of them. And there's the purple one because I want it to still be in frame because it's really pretty. So yeah, the other cane that I own from Neo Walk and also the last cane that I own and the most recent one that I got, obviously, as someone like again helped me buy it is this one. This one is obviously a lot like darker than the purple one. But I wear a lot of like dark colored outfits and I feel like the purple one just looks a bit weird with those dark colored outfits. I feel like for an outfit like this, the purple one actually goes quite nicely. Like the green one also looks quite good, but I feel like for very dark colored outfits, like this one just fits way better. And so I always wanted this one because in my opinion, the green is just so pretty. And again, obviously, this also has like a wrist strap that is like green. It's kind of like a very dark green, but it's still green, I promise. But yeah, again, like I said, someone also helped me get this one. And that was because I made like a post about like how obviously my physical therapist like broke my cane, like my main cane that I use for like doctor's appointments. And I was very scared to use like the purple one to a doctor's appointment because they wouldn't take me serious and I ended up actually having to take the purple one because I couldn't find like a plain black cane with a wrist strap like in time for the doctor's appointment but yeah I'm not gonna talk about how that doctor's appointment went because one it's medical trauma and two like this video is not about this but yeah someone helped me get this one and I actually mentioned to the person that helped me get this cane, which I'll also put their app name here, but this person helped me get this cane and mentioned that someone else had like said that they were willing to buy a cane for me and for them as well. And I mentioned that like, oh, the cane that broke isn't my Neowa cane, it's like a regular cane. And I don't want them to like spend money on me when they think that like my Neo Walk cane broke. And then they like reassured me like the person didn't think that. They just want to buy me like another Neo Walk one because, you know, to like make me feel better about everything that's happening, I guess. But yeah, I'm very grateful for this one as well. Like I said, it fits a lot better with my like dark colored outfits. I've also taken this one outside before, not as much as the purple one because I've had the purple one for much longer than this one. This one I've only taken outside once before and that was something else. Not really because anyone said anything to me, but because I had a really bad pain flare in the middle of like shopping with my dad and I felt like I was dying. So yeah, I'm gonna need to create some like nice memories with this cane because now I just look at this cane and go pain flare. I felt like I was dying. So yeah, I'm gonna need to take this cane outside a lot in like the next couple weeks so that I can have like good memories with it. So yeah, so those are all of the canes that I own. I hope you can see all of them. But yeah, I really want like more canes obviously because now that I like know that I need one to walk, now I want like one for every single outfit, which probably sounds ridiculous but honestly like it sounds fun to me to like match them to my outfits so yeah for now i'm obviously very happy with these two i don't think i'm gonna be able to buy like my own neo walking with my own money in the near future because they are quite expensive especially with like shipping costs being added up to that but yeah i do plan on like someday getting more of them just because again i really love them and they're really good to use and i like using them a lot more than these ones because 
they make me feel like more confident and also more like sturdy because as you probably noticed they cannot be like fold up so because of that they feel a lot more sturdy than the other ones so yeah i'm really excited to like use these canes in public more often obviously i don't go outside very often so i don't really have the opportunity to use them a lot but when i do have the opportunity i obviously take advantage of it and my mom is coming to visit like next month so I am going to be using these ones mainly and my mom hasn't seen either of them because I got both of them after my mom visited. So yeah, I'm quite nervous to see how she reacts to them because unlike my dad who was very against them, my mom was okay with it but still wasn't like fully okay with it. So yeah, these ones obviously like stand out a lot more so I wonder how she's going to react to it. Hopefully she reacts well, I guess, and hopefully I can also take some pictures of me outside with these canes. Because if you check like my Instagram, you'll probably see that like most of the pictures I have of myself, like showing my outfits and my cane, like they're all taken like inside of my room and like in front of my mirror. And yeah, I don't really have anyone to take pictures of me outside, so maybe I can convince my mom to do it. So yeah, we'll see about that, I guess. But I hope this video was like kind of informative and also kind of like made you aware, if you weren't aware of it already, that like young people do use mobility aids. Again, glasses are also mobility aids. But yeah, young people also use like wheelchairs and canes and crutches and stuff like that. And so I hope that if you're watching this video and you didn't know that yet for some reason, that you know now and that next time that you see a young person using something like a cane that you won't think to yourself like why are they using that? They're young. Because you know now that I exist. So yeah, I hope you found this video kind of informative. I hope I said some interesting things i don't really know because i wrote a lot of things down but because i'm not really feeling that well and because i'm feeling so uncomfortable with the outfit that i'm wearing because it shows my arms i'm not really like aware of what i'm saying which i hope that makes sense but yeah i hope this was kind of informative and i hoped that it helped people like understand how important like very you know beautiful mobility aids are because i feel like a lot of times mobility aids not just like canes but also like shower chairs or compression socks or knee braces how oftentimes they're very like dark plain colors and how having like very bright beautiful colors in like mobility aids really helps with like being confident about using them because i have noticed that like i've become more confident when i use these canes and overall i just feel better when i use them like even if i'm like using them and i'm literally almost like throwing up in public because of how bad my pain is i still feel good because at least i look good and like my cane matches my outfit which i know that probably sounds like really weird but like again as someone like me who like experiences like very bad pain like, if I know that I at least, like, look good while I experience pain, then, you know, at least I have that then. Like, sure, I'm in a lot of pain, but, you know, at least everything matches and I have, like, a very pretty cane. But yeah, I don't know if that sounded, like, dumb or anything, but yeah, I just feel better if I use these ones. Like, I rarely use these ones anymore, again, just for physical therapy and, like, doctor's appointments, but yeah. I really like having like brighter mobility aids and obviously when I do eventually end up getting like other mobility aids like for example a rollator which I'll show a picture of it because I don't know if everyone knows what it is but yeah I want one of these someday because I feel like they would also help me a lot considering you can actually sit on them if you need like a place to sit when you're in a lot of pain and I feel like that would help me a lot and yeah if I do end up someday getting one of these when I don't live like in a second floor apartment without an elevator obviously. If I do end up getting one of these I will get them like not in a bright color I think because again I do often wear like black very often so I would probably get like a black one but then like decorate it to match my outfits which I know that probably sounds really weird but I find like a lot of joy in doing that like I really want to decorate these two canes as well with like these plastic little flowers that I found that you can like with like a wire like add it to something and I feel like I want to try doing that with these just because 
I don't know, it sounds really fun to me, especially because like summer is happening and yeah, I just want to like look cute as I use my mobility aids in public and try not to throw up from the pain. So yeah, I am going to end the video here. I do want to talk just a little bit more about how excited I am about these like very pretty canes, but I don't have the energy anymore. And I do have like physical therapy in about like two hours. So I do need energy for that. And I still need to take like all of my makeup off, which I'm quite sad about because I think I did quite a good job with my makeup today, which if I didn't tell me in the comments, I guess. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway with how fast I had to get through all of these like canes and all of the things that I wanted to say. I think this will still end up being a very long video and I hope you sat through all of it. That would mean a lot to me. But yeah, I'm gonna end this video here because again, I need to get ready for physical therapy and I also don't feel well. So yeah, thank you for watching. Happy Disability Pride Month if you are disabled as well. Wish me a happy Disability Pride Month in the comments if you want to, I guess. And bye.